Today, we're going to talk about PBIS, what it is, all right, and the three things to take away from PBIS. Okay. So, more, you are, should I say, an expert in PBIS? Um, I wouldn't go that far, but I've done a lot of work with PBIS, especially lately. And you teach teachers how to utilize the yep. tools and stuff. Yep. So, what is PBIS? PBIS is Positive Behavior Intervention Strategy, so it's an approach to explicitly teaching behavior. Okay. So whether that's at home, at school, um, and it's all based on behaviorist type of okay, psychology. Okay, there are three things. The first one is what? Expectations. Okay, and what's expectations? Expectations is to explicitly teach, model, and show the behave the desired behavior okay so instead of telling the kids um you know don't talk in the hallways mm -hmm. we phrase it as um quiet voices in the hallway Got it. or so it's more of a proactive yep. positive approach yep so, so getting ready to eat dinner we don't say get at the table you say i say Show me that you're ready to eat. Yeah, show me what it looks like to get ready to eat. Show me what it looks like to be ready to eat. And they know they should get their water and they should sit down yep. and have their chair pulled out a little bit. And So similar to like if anyone's ever gone around and seen at households or schools that there are pictures mm -hmm. of stuff up, of like what a clean desk looks like. What Who'd we do that with? We did that with one of the... We've done it. With okay. all the boys, we right? We probably should do it again. What's, yeah, because their, their desks <laughs> suck right now. <laughs> but <laughs> We did picture, it with their bedrooms. Oh, okay. All right. What a clean bedroom looks like. Yeah. So that they can go up there, see it and be like, oh, it doesn't look like that. That's expectations. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's number two? Number two is routines and just making the, consistency of it. the consistent um, uh, teaching and re well, that's getting to the next one, but yep. teaching of the expectations, making it consistent. So you can't yep. just teach it once and expect them to know it and be able to do it. Yep. You have to teach it over and over and over again and provide like you said those supports those visuals yeah. so and this is where it falls on the parent and the teacher yeah it's hard right you got to put some effort in yeah and you have to hold the expectation there and be on them a little bit not um verbally or physically or anything like that but just be like hey you like remind me those yeah. those uh the uh what is it the what you say the expectations or the routines the routines yeah. right the routines but that's why it's nice to have those visuals too, because then if they have a point of reference, you, that's why I like it. I don't feel as much like a nag. Mm -hmm. I can say to them, go check your list or go check that picture. Does that look like okay. what's expected? So you've removed yourself from the behavior Try process. Try to. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, cool. Number three. Reinforcement and All right. rewards. And rewards. What is that? So reinforcement is when you see that desired behavior. Mm hmm um, giving specific positive praise Got it. for that. So, oh, I love that you're sitting with your feet flat on the floor mm -hmm. or, hey, James, thanks so much for, um, you know, putting all the toy bins back where they belong. Yeah. Not that he does that, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they're not there right now. But it's naming, it's naming the behavior and, and, and reinforcing the expectation. Got and then it. over time, what we've done with the boys, um, kind of historically, is we've asked them to help us create a goal together, something mm -hmm. that they want to work towards. So if it's keeping the playroom clean, we're going to teach them how, we're going to give them those visuals, we're going to reinforce it when we mm -hmm. see it happening. Yep. And then when it is happening, we can reward them with a sticker or a pom-pom in a jar. We've done yep. those. Um, and then eventually they can earn whatever yep. bigger reward. <clears throat> so one of the cool things with that, that I remember taking away from when I, the kids were real little, I read a book called One, Two, Three Magic and I recommend to uh, my new parents this book, but it did a really good job at, um, there's a stage where if the child is doing a behavior that you uh, don't want, you can take a toy away, but you put the toy on top of the fridge. Mm -hmm. Then when the child is doing a good behavior, you give them back a toy from the top of the fridge. And what I found with that is that as the toys start accumulating on top of the fridge, if there's a big pile of them, it's not that your child is doing a ton of bad behavior, it's that you aren't rewarding for the positive behavior that the child mm -hmm. has been doing as well, right? Yeah. So that's a good little indicator of whatever you're rewarding your kids with, right? When you start noticing those rewards piling up, that means that you haven't been doing enough positive reinforcement. 
yeah and a a sort of um, key thing to keep in mind with PBIS is you want a four to one ratio of positive to negative oh really yeah oh okay so that's that so that's that so you want to re positively reinforce four times more than you negatively remind wow. they really of. research this huh yeah. yeah and there's a lot more to the system I mean this is just a very brief overview um, but it's it's been helpful for us at home and I think you're gonna see a lot more of it um, if you haven't already in schools yeah. over the next couple of years. So this is really our uh, habit formation page on our website is really based off of this type of theory. We got a lot of, um, in terms of even adults, developing habits based off of those types of mm -hmm. three principles. Um, a lot of our thinking comes from the Atomic Habits book, uh, Tiny Habits book, and then that one, two, three magic, and then obviously all the research and studying and uh, talking that you've done at schools around the East Coast. And it's how we're training Teddy. And we're training our dog that way too. And it's working, he's doing it a really great is. job. Yeah, he's doing a great job. The kids, not so much, they're a work in progress, but the dog is doing he's great. doing great. Awesome, all right, take care.